Hello everyone, this is Anush from Gadget Geek. When it comes to serious gaming, touch screen of your phone always isn't a good option. Today we have a controller which connects to your smartphone and make your gaming experience much better. So let's start with the unboxing and overview. Do not forget to press the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get the notification from Gadget Geek and stay updated and informed. We have ordered this GameSir G3S gaming controller for Android from Amazon for Rs 2000. So in the front of the box you can see the controller itself and the GameSir branding. On the top of the box they talk about extraordinary hand feelings. The controller can be connected to Android, PS3 and PC. And I don't see an Apple logo here. On the other side you have some features about this controller. It has the precise D-pad, built-in lithium battery, dual shock motor, color changing lightning button and the turbo function. And at the back you have some product information. So let's open the box and see what we have inside. So here is the controller. The size and shape of the controller is good and it's really easy to hold. Let's keep the controller aside and see what else we have inside the box. In the box you get the GameSir Gamepad user guide. It's a very detailed user guide which helps you to connect the controller with the different type of devices. Under the box we get some other accessories. So the first we get a clamp by which you can mount your smartphone on the controller itself. We will talk about that later in the video. Then you get the GameSir pouch which makes the controller safe while traveling. Next we have in the box is the micro USB to micro USB cable. By this cable you can connect the controller directly from your phone without the Bluetooth connection. Then you have the charging cable which is a micro USB cable as well. Then you have the USB dongle which helps you to connect the controller to the PC wirelessly. So let's talk about the controller now. As I've mentioned earlier, it's light and feels good when you hold the controller. The size and shape is also good matching the quality somewhere equal to a Xbox and PlayStation controller. The entire controller has a matte finish with slight glossy finishing. One thing I felt that it feels plasticky and a rubber coating or texture could have been better at the back or on the front of the controller. So it's a PlayStation type of controller where you have the analog keys parallel to each other. You have the D-pad which feels okay and could be better. On the top you have the trigger with the shoulder button with the charging port in the middle. You have the XYBA keys in the front with start, clear, turbo and select button. The turbo key here lets you create one or more continuous button press. For example, in the shooting game you need to press the trigger again and again to shoot. Turbo key here can help you to shoot continuously. You also have the GameSir logo in the middle which turns on the controller as well. And the controller keys are backlit and you have the light on the XYAB and the GameSir logo. At the side you have the LED light which lets you know which mode you are on. Android, mouse, Apple and X which is PC. So even though you have an Apple mode here but the controller is not made for iPhone. So I do not recommend to buy this controller for your iOS device. At the back of the controller you have a reset pinhole to reset all the settings. In order to pair, you need to hold down the A and the home button and then you will see the Android LED flashing. Now you need to search the controller in the phone and the pairing process is fairly easy. Once connected, you can also control the phone itself like opening apps and scrolling through pages. So let's mount the phone to the controller and play some games. So the clamp you get with the controller is of really good quality. The clamp is fairly easy to set up and it has a nice rubber grip to secure the device. And there are two knobs, by adjusting them you can set the angle of your choice. I can say it's fairly decent quality which will secure your smartphone while playing games. One thing you will notice that if you have a phone like Nexus 6P where you have the volume button in the middle then you have to mount the phone in a way that bracket doesn't press the buttons. 
So we played some games to test the performance of the controller. We played Asphalt 8 and Modern Combat 5. So first when you connect the controller to your phone in the supported games, you will see the controller button info at the starting of the game. Modern Combat was really fun to play, moving around, aiming and shooting with the controller was very easy. And in the S Fold 8, I personally felt that the controller is well suited for this game. I was able to play this game easily and the feedback from the analog key and trigger was nice. So I think that the GameSir G3S controller is fairly good controller which is under Rs 2000. I was happy with the performance of all the keys but felt D-pad could be little better. We have also charged the controller once and was able to play games all day without the need of charging. And I can say that the battery would last approximately 7-8 to eight hours with one full charge. So if you're looking for a controller for your Android phone and doesn't want to spend a lot then this is the controller for you. So that's it guys, this was the unboxing and overview of the GameSir G3S controller. In few days from now, I will be comparing this with the other controller which I have, the Mobile Gear controller and the M8 EVO GamePad Pro. So stay tuned for that comparison video. Also do let us know if you prefer playing games with the touchscreen of your phone or you're like me who prefers to play games with the gaming controller. Let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please press the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Geek for more videos and unboxing like this. Once again, this is Anuj signing off and I'll see you in the next one.